using the metronome in Fourscore. I am in the Fourscore app here, and I have a um, piece loaded up. And now I'm going to just tap somewhere in the middle to bring up the menu across the top. And then the next to the right icon is uh, to the right is the suitcase. To the left of that is the one for uh, the metronome, pitch, and tuner. Right now it's on tuner. I'm going to tap on metronome. And in the metronome, uh, there are several features. If you want to, if you have a sense of what the tempo ought to be, uh, you can just tap in the middle there. I'm just going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I was averaging around 106 there. And uh, so if I start the metronome, I don't know if you're going to be able to hear this or not, but there you go. And um, now you notice that that was doing a four uh, beat measure because on the upper left it shows four. So if I tap on the four there, it brings up the keyboard here and I can change that to if I want to just make it be uh, just a single beat so that it's not um, distinguishing uh, downbeats, then I can just type a one and then it's important that you tap done over on the right side. So now you can see up there it says one beat per measure, whatever. So now if I click on uh, Audible, then it just does a steady beat. Turn off. And uh, if you want to specify a particular number, let's say I want to make it 120, I can grab onto this little rocking back and forth black dot and swing that around. And put that up, you know, I've got it close, but now I can hit the the minus sign as many times as I need to to get it exactly where I want it. So you can do plus and minus there to fine tune, and uh, you, on, you can just grab onto that, or you can tap as I did to, to begin with. Uh, now, this section over here underneath a uh, number of beats where it says auto turn, uh, what that does is make it so that. If you're practicing, you can make it so that it'll automatically turn the page. But you have to tell it how many beats there are on a page. So, um, or you can tell it how many measures there are on a page. It's easier to count measures than beats. So I am going, I just tapped on that and I can change this between beats and measures. There's beats, there's measures. So I'm going to count measures. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21 measures. So I'm going to just tap in there and say 21 measures. Um, but actually, I want to have it uh, do, uh, let's say, two measures beforehand um, to get me into it. So I'm going to change that from 21 to 23 measures. And then click hit done. And now I want to go to the second page. So I'm going to just. Uh, tap on the right side of the page there. Count the number of measures here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So go in here again. Say 19 measures. Done. And you can do that for each page of the file. This one only has two pages. Um, so now if I tap back to the left, you can see it went back here and did 23. Uh, click on auto turn to turn that on. And um, how many beats per measure do I want? Actually, I, um, I'm going to leave it on whole notes. So I'm going to just have one beat per measure. And I'm going to let this go fairly quickly. But the other thing I want to do, I'm going to leave it off for the moment and just tap in the middle to turn that off. And I want to tap up here and go into half page turns. So I've got the half page turn highlighted in blue. Now I'm going to tap in the center and go back to the metronome and start the metronome. So, and now if I just tap in the middle, it'll hide the metronome, but continue the beat. Now notice it just did a half page turn because it got to a half of the page. When it gets to the end of the first page, it goes to the second page. And then when it gets to the half of that, it uh, will probably not do anything because this is the last page. So it'll actually just keep going forever. Um, so that's the way you do automatic page turns with the metronome. I'm going to turn this off.
If I don't want to do those automatic page turns, I can just turn off auto turn and go back to audible. And now it will not turn the pages for me. It'll just keep going forever. And so when we go back in here to metronome, uh, and I don't know if you're going to be able to see this or not. Let me see. Yes, you did see it. Good. So this is a really cool thing if you're working in a group and, and you have one person who you want to designate as the beat keeper, you can tap on visible and you can see on the sides it is sort of flashing and that's keeping the beat for you. Um, so if you have one person who is designated as the person who is, who is responsible for making sure you stay on the beat, that person can do that and everyone else would then be responsible for following that person. And of course you can also do both uh, if you really want to uh, confuse the matter. So then I'm going to click on off and again adjusting the page, the, the tempo, adjust the number of beats per measure. Be sure if after you've done that you can, you can also do a quick thing here with a 2-4 and 3-4 uh, and uh, then click audible and but if you don't want that downbeat then uh, simply go one and done and then you don't have that. Okay that's the metronome. I hope that has been helpful.